What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here and welcome to our daily show where we discuss the fourth stimulus check update, what's on the block for the fourth round of stimulus and the infrastructure package, as well as what is going on in the world today. In this video, we'll first stay all the way to the end because I have a special guest appearance on the show that you won't want to miss. Also, we're going to go over in this video, we're going to go over all the different items that are currently being worked on right now, stimulus wise, or are being talked about or have actual bill proposals. So you can have an idea of all the different uh, items that could affect you, could put additional money in your pocket or stimulus, as well as what might affect some of your friends and families. We're going to go over all the different programs right now that are going to be in this next fourth round of stimulus or being talked about right now. And uh, there is quite a lot. So I've done my homework here. Let me know if I miss any. If I miss any that uh, currently being talked about or there's a bill, uh, let me know down below in the comments. All right. Don't forget to hit the like button. And here we go. Okay, first up is actually third stimulus checks. $1,400 third stimulus checks are still going out. As you can see in this headline right here, nearly 2 million more payments have been sent out. Uh, actually, this week, you should have received them uh, now or actually yesterday if you were part of this newest wave of nearly 2 million more stimulus checks. This includes plus up payments for people that are owed uh, stimulus money because you filed a tax return. And the IRS determined that they actually owe you more money or you had a new child in the family and they owe you stimulus checks for that. There was also six or 700,000 more people from Social Security that got their stimulus checks through this wave. So let me know if you recently got a third stimulus check payment or a plus up payment. It'll help our viewers kind of I, I see your comments that some of you guys still haven't got it. That's really all the newest news I have about that. Check the IRS Get My Payment tool, and uh, that really should give you the latest updates. I'll keep you updated if there's any more. Next up, number two is fourth stimulus. Yeah, fourth stimulus checks. There's a growing amount of support, uh, over 70 to 75 Democrats, close to 100. Really, it grows by the day. It's hard to keep track of exactly how many Democrats are in favor of a fourth stimulus check. And remember that the Democrats are likely going to pass this bill with the reconciliation process, uh, which means that they don't need to abide by the filibuster rule, which means you need 60 votes in the Senate. The reconciliation card, it's kind of a get out of jail free card, means you can pass a bill or a package with only 50 to 51 votes, which the Democrats can do completely on their own and is exactly what they did for the third stimulus check. And the Senate parliamentarian has ruled already that they can do this two more times this year so they can input any amount of stimulus they want and pass it on their own just like they did in the third stimulus check with the $1,400 checks for adults, $1,400 checks for children, $1,400 checks for adult dependents and college student this, dependents this time around who didn't even get a check from previous stimulus checks, as well as all the other provisions in there, most notably the child income tax credits. That is an additional $3,000 to $3,600 for parents. And really the only qualification is that you uh, have a social security number and you make below the income requirements, which is the same for the third stimulus check. The two official bills, these are already bills introduced. Here's the first one. The two that have the most uh, support and the most popular is the Senate bill introduced by Senator Ed Markey and Elizabeth Warren have been pushing President Biden for $2,000 monthly stimulus checks that would go until the pandemic is declared over by the government and they stop the state of emergency. At earliest, that could be December 31st, which means that this would likely go on for six or seven months at the bare minimum if they go with this. That's the minimum. It could go much longer than that. The other bill that's gaining a lot of support is from the U.S. House of Representatives, which is for a one-time $2,000 stimulus check followed by $1,000 monthly recurring payments all the way until the pandemic is over, then plus 12 months. So the minimum for this bill would probably be 18 months of uh, multi 
recurring stimulus checks of $1,000. Now remember, that could always be negotiated down. It could be $1,000 a month for six months, or 12 months. They could go with the $2,000 plan, or it could be negotiated down all the way to just a single stimulus check. I think worst case scenario, we're looking at at least $1,400. I don't expect the stimulus checks to be less than what the Democrats passed the last time around in the third stimulus check package because the Democrats passed it on their own. So all they need to do is likely negotiate with amongst themselves. And I don't see them going uh, in less as they seem to be going in more and more and more seems to be the direction they're going. So I think at worst case scenario, we're looking at a $1,400 fourth stimulus check or $2,000 one-time stimulus check. Best case scenario would be either of the monthly recurring stimulus pack uh, plan or bills. Next up is the child income tax credits that we just briefly talked about. This has already been passed from the third stimulus check package. $3,000 per child uh, for one year under uh, over the age of 6, 6 through 17, and $3,600 for children under the age of 6. And the IRS is setting up a program right now to start sending these child tax credit payments monthly starting in July in about two months from now. So for children over the age of six, it's $3,000 for the year, okay? $250 per month they're going to start sending in July if all goes according to plan. So July through December will be six payments of $250 monthly payments. Again, so this is kind of the start of the monthly payments. This is already passed. Monthly payments have already uh, been passed for this particular provision and some others that we've talked about in other, uh, other videos. But this is already passed. $250 per month for children over the age of six, $300 per month for children under the age of six, and then a one lump sum for the other half of the money, which would be $1,500 for children over the age of six and $1,800 for children under the age of six. That will come on your tax return from this year, but you know you get that next year in March or April whenever you get your tax refund. Okay, This has already been passed by the third stimulus check package, but in the fourth package, they um, are looking to increase this to likely the year 2025, which would be four more years of these $3,000 to $3,600 uh, child income tax credit. So absolutely amazing. $3,000 to $3,600 per year per child is uh, one of the, if not the largest stimulus item uh, yet to date. And like I said, the Democrats keep pushing for more and more and more and more. And you're going to see as we go through these other additional programs. The next item on the block is the bombshell news that we got, I think it was yesterday, to increase the SSI Social Security program by $279 per month. Uh, going forward to eternity. So not just for one year, but going forward. As you can see here, breaking news, a coalition of House and Senate Democrats led by Senator Sherrod Brown, Jamal Bowman from New York, Senator Elizabeth Warren, and Senator Bernie Sanders, along with Senator Ron Wyden, have teamed up to call on POTUS to include long overdue updates to Supplemental Security in uh, Income, SSI program in increasing the monthly payments by $279 and all sorts of other different provisions. Now, we really don't know yet if this will be just for SSI, if this will include SSDI, will this trickle over into Social Security, SSA, and the broad Social Security programs, and will it include the long-awaited $200 per month Social Security increase that has also been introduced previously by Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, Senator Elizabeth Warren, and Senator Ron Wyden. Again, the same names, uh, slightly different plan. Again, these are the guys you want to tweet, email, call, and say, hey, we want this $200 per month, or hey, we want this $279 per month plan increase for SSI, or we want it for all Social Security or whatever. Um, you can see here they've unveiled a plan to increase benefits by $200 per month for all Social Security beneficiaries. The plan to provide more than 60 million Americans with an additional $4,000 over two years is part of the Senate Democrats' bold Phase 3 stimulus proposal. So again, um, this is something that could happen. 
We just literally in the last 24 hours seen the bombshell news for SSI increase. We don't really know the full extent of if it will go over to other groups of Social Security, but it's a step in the right direction because that was an increase of $279 per month. So could we also see a $200 per month for maybe everybody else on Social Security? Or will everybody get $279? We really don't know the details of it yet. The nice thing is, is this is a step in the right direction. Because remember, momentum and uh, movement and support and people outcrying for this, people showing their support for this, the more people on board, the more momentum for any one of these stimulus items that we're going to talk about, we already did, or it's coming up here in the next minute or two, I got several more here for you. Momentum is a really key thing. The more support a bill gets, the more likely it will be either included in this next infrastructure slash stimulus package, or it'll be done through a standalone bill or even through presidential executive order. So tweet those senators, call them, email them. Uh, even to have an email and, and send it to them every day, just copy and paste it and copy and paste it to all of them. Tweet them is a great way to show support and uh, just keep the momentum going. If the more people that do it, the more I talk about this, the more support there is for Social Security increases, Medicare increases, and several of the other ones we're going to talk about here in a moment. The more support, even me talking about this, you know, I talk to hundreds of thousands of people per day. We're averaging around 300,000 views right now per day, and we're coming up on 100 million views total. So uh, I, have a, I have a long reach there. And the more I talk about this, the more support it shows. It keeps it in the limelight. So remember, support and momentum is more important than probably anything else to getting a bill done. Because if you don't have momentum, if you don't have support, if you don't have a lot of people talking about, say, Social Security increase, it won't happen. So the more we talk about it, the more we tweet our senators, the more support it gets, the more senators we get on board for this type of support. That is exactly how things get done. If you've been watching the show for a while, you'll know that support and momentum is probably the number one thing. You get Nancy Pelosi on board, you get Chuck Schumer on board, you get Mitch McConnell on board, you get uh, President Biden or former President Trump when he was in office, you get one of them on board and look what can happen. I mean, literally stimulus checks get like the second stimulus check. It wasn't even in there and the momentum and the support just the outcry and they literally took away $160 billion from states and cities and gave it to you guys as the second stimulus check. So when I say support and momentum is the most important thing, believe me, it really is. And that's why we want to continue to see support and momentum for all these different packages. Next up is Medicare and possibly Medicaid expansion and increases to uh, include additional uh, items for you guys. As you can see here, Senator Bernie Sanders, independent slash Democratic senator, he's the Senate budget chairman. He's largely considered the right-hand man of President Joe Biden. He is leading the charge for a Medicare expansion in the Democrats' next big bill, this infrastructure slash stimulus bill. The Vermont Independent wants to force Medicare negotiations with prescription drug car companies, big pharma, big pharmaceutical companies, and use that revenue to pay for a broader program of Medicare. What they want to do is force pharmaceutical companies to give the same prescription drug prices that they uh, sell to other, con other countries, such as insulin or in in inhalers or anything. There's other countries that these pharmaceutical companies sell them to for lower there's no reason they shouldn't sell them to the U.S. for the same price. Bernie Sanders says that if we can get pharmaceutical companies and we can pass a law to do this, and we can include it in this next infrastructure package, that it will force pharmaceutical companies to sell it to the U.S. and Americans for the same price. This would not only save Americans billions of dollars, but it would also save the federal government $450 billion through, program, through medicine that the federal government has to buy for certain groups of people. This would save $450 billion every single year. And they could use that money that's basically saved and use it to include additional Medicare provisions such as free hearing, dental, vision, hearing aids, and other uh, types of things in there. All that would be included for free and they could pay for it with that $450 billion savings. And they also could lower the age of Medicare 
from uh, possibly down to age 60 or even as low as age 55. Next up is increasing the minimum wage, which would affect tens of millions of Americans and make them basically start making more money at their jobs. We had a previous proposal for a $15 an hour minimum wage, largely led by Senator Bernie Sanders, as well as a lot of Democrats that failed to pass in the last stimulus package. We now have a bipartisan uh, proposal from Republicans uh, led by Mitch Romney and Democrats led by Kirsten Sinema for a new minimum wage raise, which is likely to be around $11 an hour. More details we will be receiving in the next upcoming days. I will keep you updated. Democratic Senator Kirsten Sinema and Republican Senator Mitt Romney have also teamed up on another bill to tackle student loan debt, which is a new college savings program, which would basically make the government give you eight times more money than you save for your college education. This would mean if you put $1,000 in, in a college savings account underneath this new proposal, the government would match it with $8,000. Or if you put $10,000 in there, the government would match it with $80,000, which would go a long way towards covering school costs. We had a, uh, we had a recent comment on one of our previous videos that said uh, that their dentist just graduated with $400,000 of student loan debt. So uh, you can see how it's very <laughs> difficult for the average person when it costs as much as a house or even more than a house to pay off their student loan debt. You know, you normally take out a 30 year mortgage to pay off your house. Well, your student loan debt can actually be more than a house nowadays. So it is a huge problem. Another piece of massive news we had this week was uh, an introduction of a new bill Again, led by Senator Bernie Sanders, he's a popular guy with a lot of bills that are likely going to be passed and have been passed already from the third stimulus check package to make college completely free for anybody earning less than $125,000 and uh, do this by having a Wall Street tax, basically a, a fraction of a percent every time a stock trade is made, a fraction of a percent would be a tax and that would add up to pay for free college for almost all Americans that want to go to college and make less than $125,000. This is just a quick overview on a lot of these things. I'll be covering a lot, all these different programs in more details on upcoming episodes. So make sure to not miss an episode. New videos come out every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., 8 p.m., and 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure to subscribe and then click the bell icon. It's completely free to do so, so you don't miss out on new episodes. Next up is student loan debt forgiveness for people who already have a student loan debt. President Biden has said he is willing to do at least $10,000 of student loan debt forgiveness. However, other Democrats like Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer want him to do like more like $50,000 of student loan debt. As we just talked about, student loan student loans can be well over $50,000. Sometimes that's the cost of one or maybe two years of college. And uh, I do expect they will be doing at least $10,000 of student loan debt here in the near future, probably through a presidential executive order. President Biden has also done three mini rounds of uh, student loan forgiveness and help just in the last month. Next up is uh, people with a first-time homebuyer grant or credit could receive up to $25,000 and you get it directly when you close on the home and you can use it as your down payment. That uh, just came out this week, although there is several complications about it, who qualifies and more. I covered that in a recent video and I will be covering it again here on the channel. Next up is a new unemployment proposal to revamp the unemployment system and make it so all states are the same and actually pay up to 75% of the wages that you made from your previous job, which could be an increase of up to $6,000 for most Americans on unemployment. So literally a $6,000 stimulus, if you lose your job, you would be paid more through the unemployment program. I will keep you up to date on this as well. Next up is getting rid of the filibuster. If the Democrats get rid of the filibuster, they will be able to pass any of these bills uh, without the reconciliation process. They can pretty much pass all these on their own, but it makes it more difficult and harder to do, and they can only do it a limited amount of times. If they get rid of the filibuster, they can pass bills in the Senate 
with only 50 or 51 votes. And Republicans would be able to do this as well uh, coming in any of the upcoming elections. If Republicans gain at least one seat, then they would also be able to pass bills in the Senate with only 50 votes. It would get rid of the 60-vote rule from here on out forever, which is exactly how the U.S. House of Representatives is. You only need 50% plus one vote to pass a bill. Next up is state and local county stimulus checks. As you know, there's multiple states that just passed their own stimulus check to low-income people from their state. California with a $600 stimulus check. Maryland with a $300 and $500 stimulus check, and New Mexico as well. We're going to be seeing a lot more states like this in the near future because states are getting $350 billion from the third stimulus check package, and they have to use more money this time around for uh, stimulus programs like this and mortgage and rental assistance. They have to use a majority of that money on programs like this with you guys. So I will be reporting to you as soon as I see new ones coming up on the block. If you know of any, comment them down below. And if you see any, give those uh, comments a like or a thumbs up so that they rise to the top so more people can see them in the comments. Next up, you can actually get a bonus stimulus check from your health insurer or your health care provider as uh, they're giving back billions of dollars in new recent articles because um, they are required to if they make a, a certain amount of profits because of a decrease in um, health care. It's, it's difficult to understand. I'm not going to go into the details of it, but it was passed in the third stimulus check package. So you could get a stimulus check from your health insurance provider. Well, you also could get one from your auto insurance company as they are doing the same thing and or lowering rates. So if your auto insurance uh, has recently lowered or you recently got a stimulus check, let our viewers know down below in the comments and what company it was. I'll be covering this in uh, some of the upcoming episodes as there's more news coming out about this. In the third stimulus check package that has already passed, you can actually get free COBRA insurance if you lose your job. You basically can get free COBRA insurance through the federal government now for up to one year past from the third stimulus check package. And also it's something like 10 million more people that don't have anything to do with losing their job now qualify for free health insurance or lowered uh, drastically health insurance payments from healthcare.gov. If you haven't, if you think you could be eligible, your lower middle income and um, really go to healthcare.gov, check out their website and see if the payments are either free or lower than they could have been in the past. We have had recent SNAP, WIC, and EBT increases through the SNAP, WIC, and EBT programs uh, by up to $100 per month and sometimes even more based on how many children or in your household through September, we're also likely going to see this extended even more. And we just had a, the uh, child uh, meal program extended all the way to the end of 2022 uh, school year as well. In fact, yeah, here is the article for that. The Biden administration extends universal free school lunch all the way through the end of 2022. Next up is the foreclosure ban and eviction ban. Uh, there's new news out that they could ban foreclosures all the way until 2022, basically uh, not allowing foreclosures all the way to the end of the year if you're on a government-backed mortgage, which the majority of people are. In addition to that, there is mortgage assistance and rental assistance, property tax assistance, and utility assistance going out right now from both the second and the third stimulus check package based on your county and your state. So let me know if I missed any, if I forgot to talk about any. I'll keep you up to date on all these in uh, different videos upcoming. Remember, I will talk about different provisions in different videos because I won't be able to cover all those in any one upcoming videos when we talk about them in more details, as well as new information coming out about them. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. There's also a share button down there. Share this video with your family and friends and let them know this is an important episode because uh, they won't want to miss out on all these different provisions that could help them. All right, Julian, say hi. Hi. Tell, hey, who has a birthday coming up soon? Baby Julian. Baby Julian. And how old is baby Julian going to be? Four. No. Five. No. Six. No, you're going to be three. Seven. 
Three. Seven. No. Eight. Three. All right, all right, all right. What are you going to do tomorrow when it's nice outside? No. I said, what are you going to do? Are you going to ride your bicycle outside? Yeah. Are you going to play with the neighbors? Yeah. Do you like playing with the other kids? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Can you tell everybody you're going to go night-night now? Yeah. Night-night. <laughs> All right. Say night-night. We love you. Night-night. We love you. Say bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. Also, click on this video to watch my newest stimulus check video next. And this video teaches you how to start your own business selling products on the Amazon FBA platform, where I have had dozens of students replace their 9 to 5 income selling products on Amazon, and I teach them how to do that. Click on one of those videos next. Thanks, guys, and I will see you in the next video.